Hey guys, and welcome to this video of the Big Buddha located between Jom Tien and Pattaya, Thailand. There is a name for this place, but I can't pronounce it. Imagine that, right? So um, it's a small, small little area between Jom Tien and Pattaya. And uh, welcome to the Big Buddha. If you wanna see what it's like, stay tuned. Before I take you on this tour, please understand, I am not a Buddhist. I do not know anything about Buddhism. Um, I'm simply just going to show you the features and talk a little bit and uh, show you guys around I'm looking forward to you educating me in the comment section below. So let's go guys This is the entrance to the big Buddha And you probably guessed that because there's a big Buddha straight in front of me. I would think anyway great day here in Thailand and uh, Just hanging out looks like I'm gonna have to have some frozen treats here later probably going to take some cool pictures the good thing about the big buddha so far is the stairs are very very small the bad thing about very very small stairs is i'm scared i'm going to fall on them <laughs> looks really easy to trip another good thing about small stairs is it doesn't quite take the wind out of you as much So it looks like we have a donation box for the Buddha here. That's pretty cool. So this is the upper area of the big Buddha, as you can see. And there is the big Buddha. Time to take some pictures. So this is gonna be the backside of Buddha. And that's one very, very big statue. This little place up here, so apparently you find out like what day of the week you were born on, and then you can pay homage to whichever Buddha um, the day of the week is. For example, well, I'll show you guys later on the way back. Let me take you around the lookout for a second. So off in the distance, you can see the tower and the tower that you're looking at is uh, where the zip line is. I've been challenged to go down that zip line and I will accept that challenge at some point. I promise you, I will do it. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I promise I'll do it. And just walking around, you can look at some of John Tien down here. Pretty nice view of the beach. If the sun was down a little bit more, it would be even better. And over on this side, go look at Pattaya, where there are currently cloudy skies and looks like rain off in the distance. Nevertheless, very good view. Very, very good view. So it looks like this is one of these things that you throw your change into. Probably some kind of wishing well type deal. It is actually Buddha's footprint. So it, look, it appears as though it's good luck to throw change in there as well. Pretty cool. Now you can currently look at this and it says donation box, make merit up to believers. There's your donation box. And they've also taken the liberty of, like I said before, throwing the change directly into the Buddha footprint. So apparently it's kind of like what we have in the U.S., which would be equivalent to a wishing well type situation. Very nice view up here. Very nice view. It's very cool. The wind's blowing nice. And uh, as you can see, there's a tour group coming in. There's always a tour group here in Thailand somewhere. Um, always. So... There's always a tour group somewhere in Thailand, and there is one right now. Always interesting to watch these guys roam around. And uh, of course, I'm a tourist myself, basically. But it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And I have to say, this has been an interesting, definitely something, definitely something I wanted to share with you guys. And hopefully, um, you enjoyed the view. Smaller Buddhas, and these would be places where you can buy a little uh, these are the flowers that go in like the water um, I'm assuming it's some some kind of donation type thing um, best wishes 
uh, wishing well stuff. And of course they always have Buddha around. Buddha, lots of Buddhas up here. And over here we have the actual garments that they wear, which I think are kind of cool. Uh, you can buy for 100 baht and more donation boxes, um, some flowers, some more. I guess you buy these things full of change and then go dump them in the footprint. Um, or maybe not. You guys can leave in the comment section whether or not that's accurate because I'm honestly not 100% sure. Let's walk over and see some of the statues. I don't know if these things are for sale, but they're kind of cool. Um, definitely interesting things to look at if you're into uh, Buddha or Buddhism, for sure. Very nice work, whoever did it. And then these guys are walking down putting change in each one of the cups, so I assume that's some kind of thing for good luck. Hmm. Very interesting. You guys will have to leave in the comment section exactly what's going on up here because I'm not 100% sure. This is just the place that I was told I should come to, so that's what I'm doing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me and the Big Buddha. It was a very interesting place to come look at, and at least we got to see the zip line and the good overview and uh, look around a little bit. So if you ever wonder about the Big Buddha in Jam Tien, now you know. This is looking up at the water coming down from the stairs up to Big Buddha. You can see Big Buddha. And we're gonna have a little walk around here. Just to kinda show you guys what the bottom of Big Buddha looks like. Right above us are a bunch of what appear to be bells. Neither me nor my tour guide understand the purpose. We just know they're there. And that's what matters. Here is a shot of Big Buddha. And that was the lookout uh, up top. You can see the railing for it. Some stairs to get up there to it. And some more artwork here. Pretty cool. I like this little thing. A lot of detail in it. And on this side we have Thai Nepal Buddhist Temple. According to that sign right there pretty interesting little place at least this buddha gets to sit or the temple i'm sorry at least this temple gets to sit in the shade most of the time that is a very unique looking buddha down at the bottom of big buddha actually we're on the back side of big buddha right now so um, i'm not sure what the significance is but i've never seen an aqua colored buddha so i think that's pretty neat and I don't know what you would call these little... Are these temples? No? Look like maybe sanctuary houses or something like that? They have flowers in them with Buddha statues. Um, not sure. But they go all the way around the back side here. So maybe I can find out what the significance of these things are. Or maybe you can comment in the comment section below and educate me. That would be awesome. So we are at the... Admiral's Memorial. Um, this is just opposite the Big Buddha. And we'll go to the viewpoint in a few minutes. I'll show you what's to the right, but I wanted to give you guys a little look uh, as to where we're headed. First, right here, this is obviously a radio station uh, up on our left. And you can see the statue of the Admiral there. Guys, if you know me and you love me, you know what I'm about to do right now. That's all I'm saying. And we're going to have some coffee later too. Coconut and coffee. Can't beat it. You are looking at Pattaya. And the reason this is kind of unique is because you guys that have watched my videos or seen thumbnails that have the Pattaya Beach sign. We're actually standing on top of it right now. Um, which is pretty cool. So you can see the little bay here. And then if you go over here you see the ghost tower of Pattaya. This is not the one in Bangkok. Um, this is the one in Pattaya. And wouldn't it be awesome to be able to get up there and take some shots? Man, that would be incredible. 
Ooh, I'm definitely gonna be doing some picture taking here shortly, guys. That's for sure. On the way back around. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This is going to be a beautiful view of Pattaya Beach. That's pretty cool right there, guys. It's a good shot. And they also have uh, the binoculars you can see through here, which is also very cool. So you can see the floating restaurants, you can see the pier. Um, wow, what a view. That's just very, very, very nice. Very nice. Clouds aren't too bad. You can look all the way back, all the way through Pattaya. That's so cool, man. What a view. Let's look at the Jom Tien side of the viewpoint here real quick. Much less impressive than the Pattaya side, but nonetheless, you can still see uh, a few interesting buildings there and have some cool little, that's a horse and a, what appears to be a Navy member or member of the Navy, I should say. And here is the actual shrine itself. Um, very interesting, guys. Very interesting. It's also very, very hot out here, too. Just thought I would mention that. All right, let me take some pictures. See you soon. So here is what this whole thing is about in English. You guys feel free to pause the video and read that. And one last look around here. And I'm going to start my way back down and get some coffee and coconut. Coffee and coconut coming up. All right, guys, this is the last viewpoint. This is where the vlog will end. Just wanted to say thank you for tuning in to the video. And I genuinely hope that you enjoyed uh, everything that you saw. See you in the next one.